Oakley to Oakley Smokely. Here we go. We got uh, the old winter storm warning for this evening. And into tomorrow, we're going to get up tomorrow. It's going to be minus 7 Celsius. I'm not even sure what that is, Fahrenheit. Whatever, it's the first one of the year where it's getting down real good. So, game plan. Uh, all of these pots are coming into the garage for the sieve. Whatever. Raspberries and hascaps, you're on your own. Any of the tomatoes. I think I've got a couple tomatoes left on, yeah, on the plant over here. Just a few of the stuff. A couple of squash I'm going to have to yank out of here. I think I'll bring the mint in because those could still rock. That's why I made you guys get excited. Yeah, you guys are going to come in tonight. There's no way you're surviving minus seven. But other than that, potatoes are going to stay out. Everything's out. Oh, those carrots can come in. But yeah, just a quick little looky-see here before, uh, you know, winter starts setting in. I guess I could probably yank all those tiny little, tiny little onions, but... I did, oh my goodness, this is the first time the sun's been out all day. Chilly, chilly today. I have a mole issue, apparently. Oh, and look at the clay. It's just so obvious. But you know, the thing is, right? Like these are all perennials that are around here, or most of them for that matter. I mean, but I'm looking around at all the plants and where they dug nothing around there is dying so whatever it is is not eating the vegetation and from what i've looked up i could be dead wrong it's happened before thought i was wrong once turned out i was mistaken but uh voles are vegetarian and they will eat your plants and their roots moles eat meat so they're eating bugs and worms and whatever else they can get their ugly little faces on so they're basically tilling up my crap soil which I mean thank you like do I get him a Christmas card like what do you do for a situation like that none of the plants have been affected nothing's dying back other than normal winter stuff so I don't know I'm gonna let them go I have no desire to be killing anything that I don't need to kill I mean the second I see a plant hit the floor he's done you done son but yeah, just a quick little, uh, quick little look, see here at what's going on, and uh, I'll try and get out and take one tomorrow morning when everything's all white. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Winter storm warning. Minus seven. Let's go start the car and see what it looks like. I'm sure everything will be fine. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, forgive the wind if you get a little bit of, if you get a little bit of that noise oh yeah raspberries are loving this not so much huh. oh my hey. <laughs> all right strong shall survive. Goodness. Oh, that poor Lupin. Hey. Trying to flower, but all the snow is getting in the way. Oh, funny, funny. All right, I'm going to get that uh, car started. It's not as bad as I was thinking. Oh, I put sunflowers down. <laughs> Signals the end of the giant sunflower challenge, eh? Yucky. All right. Go start that car. Time to get to work. Woohoo! little list of things that I forgot that I didn't like that it turns out that I don't care for very much snow on the seat when you get in comes in from the top anybody that lives around these parts knows but you pretty much always have a snowy crotch when you get in that's awesome just turn on the windshield wipers oh yeah that's right this stuff is like caked on there 
and even though it was high 80s there about three days ago the old uh, snow scraper is never far yeah, yeah this is uh, this is one of the parts that I forgot that I did not like oh no sunflower down oh oh whatever the joy and the bliss Oh, it's not bad yet. Just wait till she gets down to minus 20 or 30. <laughs> oh. Favorite time of year. For sure. Just in case I do something bad today, I don't want to make it hard on anybody to find out who I am. So, there you go. Keep it fair. Oh.